1940, five young women in Birmingham decided to enter the crowded and competitive gospel music arena. They were inspired by the Roberta Martin singers at the 1940 National Baptist Convention held in Birmingham. And we heard the Roberta Martin group sing, It's a Highway to Heaven. And that just lifted me. I just exploded. And I told her, I said, Oh, Dessa, you know what? We need to get us a group. That's what me that I can't play, you know, like the gospel. You know, like they, ooh, I said, they're terrible on the piano. I can't play like that. You know, she said, well, don't worry about that. I said, we, the girl that was on the, on the piano at the city auditorium, Evelyn, we can get her. They came to my mother and asked her would it be all right, because I was young and they were young. And so she said, well, give me a, a week or two to think about it. And she thought about it and uh, told them yes. And so that's the way it started. And Mildred said, we got to have a group. We're going to sing that. And Dessa, you're going to lead it. Evelyn Hardy, Odessa Edwards, Vera Cobb, Willie Mae Garth, and Mildred Howard originally called themselves the Gospel Harmonies. Their first robes were military-style dresses, which symbolized the group's support for the nation's war effort. With their young group in place, the ambitious singers set out to become part of the gospel movement sweeping across the country. We started rehearsing every day, mm -hmm. and Evelyn worked us to death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then my and mother, that's what you, made us. My mother used to come in and say, right. go, yeah. home, go home, <laughs> go home, go home now. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> this is enough for the night. So she fixed it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know how she fixed it? She took the practice from my dear and brought it around the mile. <laughs> oh, yeah. So she knew that mama and daddy, and then the whole Smithfield would get together. Yeah, they would. Yeah. Whenever she hit court. that piano, that the whole community yeah. was sitting out on the ground. Wow, they were listening. Cheering. And they knew our practice days. Yeah. yeah. They, they had, they Nobody yeah. had to call. And they come from but, everywhere. But who they could hear. Hear. Nobody had to call because we were kind of loud. That's what I said. They could hear. <laughs> A few months after the Harmonettes were formed, they began touring the state and their lives changed dramatically. They were so popular in Birmingham that A.G. Gaston, one of Alabama's leading entrepreneurs, hired them to sing on his weekly radio program. Throughout the early 1940s, the young women toured the South, but national recognition eluded them. However, in 1948, they were invited to appear on Talent Scouts, a national radio program run by Arthur Godfrey. Out of that engagement, the Harmonette signed a recording contract with RCA Victor in New York in 1949. During their first session with RCA, they recorded Move On Up A Little Higher and In The Upper Room. The recordings were not very popular and RCA canceled the group's contract. 